Welcome to Indian Super League Previews by Football News India, your favourite Indian football news portal, FNI. The inaugural day of uh, 2016 Indian Super League is here. Northeast United is taking on Kerala Blasters in the first match. Here we take a look at the Northeast United side. Northeast United uh, is another team that gets huge home support as a team representing the eight northeastern states of India. This is not a surprise at all as we all know the kind of popularity football enjoys in that part of the country. However, it is kind of sad uh, that the team never could do justice to the kind of support they receive. In the first season, the team was managed by New Zealand coach Ricky Abbott and they had a disaster of a season as they entered the campaign by finishing uh, at the bottom of the table. They could only score 11 goals in the whole campaign and misfired in all departments. In the second season, there was considerable improvement under the Venezuelan coach Cesar Farias as the team just missed out on the playoffs as they finished fifth in the league table. The goal scored tally increased to 18. Northeast United will be looking to bounce back in the 2016 season and qualify for the playoffs. They went ahead and signed Brazilian coach Sergio Farias in May. However, in an unprecedented move, he decided to leave the team and join a Thai side. Um, Northeast United managed to lure in another experienced coach in Nelo Vengada. Vengada has coached countries like Portugal, Saudi and Jordan in his long career. Now, let's take a look at the uh, Northeast United squad for 2016. In the goalkeeping department, we have Rehne, Shubrata Paul and Wellington Lima. Lima is the foreign goalkeeper, however, with talented Indian goalkeepers in the roster like um, uh, Rehnesh and Subrata Paul, it will be unlikely that Northeast United will be fielding a foreign goalkeeper. Subrata Paul being the most experienced goalkeeper in the side will be the choice between the sticks. Rehnesh, who has played for the franchisee in the last two seasons and put up very good performance for them, will be the next choice. Coming to the defenders, we have Robin Gurung, Shavik Ghosh, Regan Singh, Nirmal Chetri, Salam Ranjan Singh, Gustavo Lazaretti and Mailson Alves. I expect the 32-year-old Gustavo Lazaretti and the former Chennai NFC player Mailson Alves to start as the central defenders for the four Northeast this time around. And Nirmal Chetri and Regan Singh will vie for the right-back position and the fight for the left-back position will be between Shavik Ghosh and Robin Gurung. It will have to be seen how this defensive lineup can cope up with the attacking flair of other teams. Coming to the midfield, we have Wellington Priori, Romarich, Didier Sakora, Setya Sen Singh, Raulin Borges, Katsumi Yusa, Jerry, Fanai, Lalrampuya. Midfield seems to be the strongest department of Northeast United this season. Didier Sakura needs no introduction. He had a very good season with Pune City last year. Katsumi Yusa, the Japanese live wire who has been the mainstay for Bagan for some seasons now, will also have a big role to play this season. And they have a wealth of talent in Indian players as well. Setya Sen, Raulin, Jerry, uh, are all excellent talents and we'll be hoping to make a mark this season. Now let's take a look at the uh, forward lineup. Coming to the forward lineup, we have Holi Jaran Narsari, uh, Lalian Zuala Changte, Sumit Pasi, Sasha Naif, Nicolas Willis, Emiliano Alfaro, and Rob Robert Cullen. Northeast looks very formidable in the striking department as well. Nicolas Willis, who played for the franchise last season and scored five goals, will be the main player to look out for. Uruguayan players Shasha Naif and Emiliano Alfaro will also be looking to make a mark in the league. Coming to the Indian contingent in the we have the massively talented youngster Lalian Zula Changte. After his remarkable performance in the Saf Cup, Everyone will be looking forward to see him in the Northeast colours. Holi Charan is a hard-working forward who can also play in the midfield and Zumit Pasi with his physique will offer a different kind of threat to the opposition teams. So on the whole, this Northeast side looks a bit weak on the defensive side but having players like Zokora marshalling the midfield will paper over these defensive problems. Midfield and forward line looks very impressive and they look to be a side who will be Definitely progressing to the playoffs this season. If you like this preview, like our page on Facebook at Football News India, our Twitter handle at FNI and share this preview with your friends and family.